Welcome back to Sled 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, still here on location at Canterbury Park in Shakopee. Now, if you're a die-hard snowcross racer, you have probably heard of Robbie Melanoski. And if you haven't, he is one of the best racers of the ISOC circuit. So let's hear what Robbie had to say about the Amsoil Championship Snowcross Series. Take a look. Racing a skidoo for sharing speed sports in Team Amsoil is number four, Robbie Malinowski. So far, Robbie's having a promising season. It's a five month quest for a championship that began back in November. We are in Duluth for the first round of the uh, Amsoil Snowcross Series. I've finished fourth two years in a row, but you know what, I'm coming back this year. I'm dialed in, taking no prisoners, ready to go take some uh, podiums and, and hopefully a win. I wouldn't want to be on anything but a skidoo out there in that final. I'll tell you what, those things work pretty damn good on this track. Yeah, you got confidence in your equipment. You don't worry about, oh, there's a pretty steep double there. I don't know if I can make it. It's like I'm jumping past the double and I'm going to probably quad it or triple it or whatever. The plans lined up. We smoked everybody out there tonight. It was a Robbie Malinowski show, hands down. Finally, the monkey's off the back. It's kind of a cool feeling. Hey, they're actually looking at me going, I gotta beat him? Well, it's been a long time since that's happened, so it's pretty neat. Round two was the Michigan National in Bessemer, Michigan. Robbie continued his podium spree with a second and a third place finish. It's just a giant chess game out there. You, you're always thinking, of what you're gonna do next and what you had done in the past lap or corner or bump. You're always trying to figure out the best way to get out and go faster, yet you're always trying to be the guy that's not gonna just be out wide in a corner and two guys are gonna pass you. You always are, are trying to set yourself up in the best scenario to get around the track and to make sure that you've got the right of way and uh, take the win. In round three, Robbie and the series moved to Minneapolis in Canterbury Park for the Traxxas National. We are in Canterbury, hometown race for myself. Um, I live just north of the cities. Very pumped for this uh, event. Saturday night, we had uh, me and Tucker diced it out, and you know he got me at the end, and I just about had him back. It was just a real fun race, and um, you know, like I said, in Duluth. I'm just pumped I'm there, uh, I'm battling for first. I got some good confidence and I feel good and I know when I'm comfy and I know when the team's behind me and I feel all that there. Today, teams must use the latest technology, all part of what it takes to win. We're graphing what's happening out on the track through data acquisition. This is actually the track out here and if you watch that little X right there, that's the snowmobile actually going around the track so we can see when we're having an issue where it is on the track. But that Rotax motor sure seems like it has a lot more snort than the Polaris one, so maybe that's what's making a difference. And that phenomenal driving job that Robbie's doing, he's on fire. I think people forget that I, I won some championships back in the years and uh, all I know is I'm putting in the work. I've done this for a long time and I know what it takes and I'm gonna keep moving forward. Robbie is supported by some of the best in the business, Skidoo and Shearing Speed Sports. But only time will tell if this is Robbie's year to win it all. No doubt about it, Robbie is certainly a snowcross warrior, and I know I'm confident that we will see him on the podium soon. All right, Sledders, stay right where you are. Sledded 24 7 will be right back. Still ahead. The Speedworks crew takes off on a mountaintop test run. And later, it's turbo time for a skidoo rider who shares a slice of his world. 